Hello, my name is Chad Priddle with CNC Labs, and today we're going to be talking about a Dell R720 server. And we're going to be discussing the specs and review the product and the hardware and why something that is 10 years old can still be a great home lab server. Stick around. In 2012, when the server was released, uh, hypervisors and, and VMware was all the rage. Uh, you could basically have this server hardware uh, where you could pass through different pieces of hardware to these different operating systems. Uh, you no longer had this one server as a one-trick pony. Uh, you could do multiple things with it. And it's interesting to note that when this was released in 2012, uh, HP also came out with the... Uh, the DL380 Gen 8 server, almost identical to the specs of the Dell R720. And interesting that Dell actually released a uh, kind of a report on why their server was better than their competitors. And their results that they produced basically said that uh, this server uh, had, the Dell server had better raw performance and even. Um, better power efficiency. So when we talk about a, a server that's 10 years old, why would it make a home lab server? Well, one of the things is even for this, this server, you have, you know, great availability. Obviously this, this thing is at the end of its life. Uh, corporations, uh, data centers, these things are becoming available used at great prices. Uh, you could Purchase one of these used, uh, kind of a bare bones with with uh, dual uh, Xeon CPUs, uh, at least 16 gigs of RAM, 32 if not 64. Maybe there's no drives. You could pick one of these up for uh, $300. Um, and obviously, when you talk about just the expandability, uh, there's seven PCI slots um, that you could expand even more. Obviously, uh, upgrade anything to 10 gig. Um, more drive expansion. Uh, this thing fits very large GPU cards, uh, which is really nice if you're running Plex. Um, and they talk about the memory. It is old, it's DDR3, but this server came with 64 gigs of RAM with eight slots uh, still available. And so you could fill that up with the same memory that's already in there uh, with another 32 gigs and you're looking at on eBay for something used for the same same price you're looking at uh, you know under forty dollars to get the server bumped up to 96 and then on this configuration you have eight hard drive bays that are also hot swappable so for something that's 10 years old what are the max limits well this comes with an LGA 2011 socket uh, it either you can either run the uh, Xeon E5 2600 series, either the version 1, version 2. Version 2 does allow you to run the latest version of ESXi, which is 7.7.0 at this point. Um, and then also, it maxes out at 768 gigs of RAM, which is pretty high. Um, and then also, with the backplane, this can max out at 25 terabytes of hard drive space. So depending on your RAID array, you know, if you, if you made this thing to a Plex server, you could definitely use this as a NAS, but that'll hold up to 1500 or more 4K videos. So definitely uh, plenty of, of drive expansion for a server of this price. So right now, let's just do a quick physical view over the server. So here's the front of this chassis. You have your power button, your reset button, VGA. Uh, you do have uh, these three buttons that control uh, when this is powered on. There is an uh, LCD screen uh, right here that will uh, display uh, any errors, information, um, you know, hey, your, one of your power supplies is down, uh, fans have failed, a drive has failed. And you can also set your IP address or set it to DHCP for your iDRAC to get into that console. 
which is really nice. You got your service tag from Dell. Uh, you got your SD card slot, two USBs. And this is the R720 model. You're going to have eight drives. Uh, that's the max for this for the three and a half inch. This also comes in another form on the 2U uh, where you can get, uh, I believe, up to 16 two and a half inch drives. And then also that R720 XD model is going to look a little different on the front. The XD model, you do not get a uh, drive bay, uh, a DVD ROM bay. This doesn't have a, a ROM. We are going to uh, be putting an SSD in here for the boot. Uh, there'll be a separate video. And then you got your standard caddies. And we'll be putting some drives in here in a little bit. So on the back of this chassis, you have your PCI uh, expansion slots. We'll get into that when we open it up. And you have your iDRAC. COM port on the bottom, your RJ45, you have a serial uh, console uh, port, your typical VGA, two USB ports, and then your standard four Ethernet uh, ports, and then you got your two removable 750 power supplies, and then another thing on the 720XD model, uh, you have one less PCI slot, but you do get two more drives back here. First thing you'll notice is uh, they do have uh, these color coordinated. Um, anything that's orange is technically hot swappable. So you got your drives that are hot swappable. These fans come in and out fairly easily uh, for cleaning um, or if one's dead. And then you also, anything that's blue is uh, removable um, but not hot swappable. So obviously you want to make sure that that's off. Um, this little sh fan shroud easily comes out. So obviously on the front you have your, your drive bays, um, you do have your extra uh, SATA connector uh, for either an SSD or a DVD-ROM, and then your fans, and then obviously to access the back plane or any of these wires, it'd be easy to take this out, or if you wanted to swap out some uh, memory DIMMs. Uh, your two processors, um, this is going to be your RAID controller. Um, this has the basic uh, H3 uh, 10 RAID controller. I will be upgrading that. Um, and then you have your PCI slots. Uh, this is a standard daughter board uh, that's Dell proprietary. It also comes in a two uh, one gig NIC and then a, a two SFP plus port for your 10 gig links. Um, you have these uh, three uh, PCI Express 8. Um, half height that go in here. This whole uh, caddy comes up and you have one uh, Express 16 and you have an 8 below it and then you have an 8 and an 8. These will support uh, full uh, size GPU cards and then between each of these PCI slots they are channeled to each of the different CPUs. You have an extra SATA port for another internal drive if you want it. Um, you also have an internal USB uh, if you wanted to boot off of a flash drive. And then also you have your, um, your SAS connector. I believe this is for if you had more 2.5 inch drives up front. So we won't be using that. And another convenient thing about these PCI Express slots is on these risers, you can't see it on camera, but both of these have 8-pin uh, Molex power hookups. So if you had a riser card, you could easily just do a little jumper to utilize uh, the extra power. Overall, this is a great server for the size. Uh, this comes in from the front ears. Uh, probably to the back of the chassis are 27 inches and then you get them about another inch, inch and a half for the handle and your uh, power supplies. Great airflow. Very expandable uh, for when this came out nine, nine years ago and I'm really happy with it.
So for a server like this, you could obviously use uh, ESXi, Proxmox, Docker, uh, Plex server with, with GPU, transcoding. You can use it as a web server, MySQL server. Uh, if you want to get into uh, PFSense and, and create a router with some firewalls, uh, you could build a NAS. There's so many great open source uh, operating systems out there and also Docker images. Uh, you could use this as a gaming server. And obviously another thing that's really popular right now is home automation, you know, installing home assistant. And so with this channel, I plan on uh, using Docker and continuing to create more videos uh, showing all these different things that you can do with this server. Um, there's, I've already created a couple of videos. Uh, one, obviously, using the server to install um, ESXi uh, 7.0. And then also, there's another one uh, installing this with a fresh install of Docker and Portainer. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe uh, for further videos on what I plan on doing with this server as my home lab.